Hey, what's going on guys? G1X here, and today I thought we'd take a look at Star Wars 6-inch Black Line Series Jabba the Hutt. Now, I do have them displayed here with Leia, or Slave Leia, or Princess Leia, whichever one you want to call her. It's number 5 in the set, but it does not come with her. This is just the regular version that you could pick up at Toys R Us, Target, or your Hasbro toy shop. Uh, but I thought that that was kind of a cool little pose with them, and I put that on Instagram, so I figured I'd share that with you. But, you just get this figure for about... 40 bucks. So uh, what are you getting with him? You kind of saw him as far as height scale goes with Leia. There he is with, you know, six inch uh, Luke Skywalker there. Uh, he's not exactly the tallest one, you know, like um, Boba Fett uh, is a little bit taller, I believe. But um, as far as the detail goes, it looks incredible. You know, I, I like, you know, the different shadings throughout here and the green. You can see that it kind of all goes throughout. Uh, you can see those kind of like little... I don't even know what to call those little things, the little sucker things, whatever. But, um, yeah, he looks all disgusting looking, which that's what I kind of expected out of him. Uh, but just kind of give you guys a little 360. Uh, he is quite long um, for comparison. Here he is with a, put that tell to tell, there's a Masterpiece Lambor. So he would be about two, as far as Transformers goes, uh, the Masterpiece of the Cars. You can see some more nice details throughout here. It's actually coming off a lot more green on camera um, than it, it is in real life. Uh, it's hard for me to explain it. And this actually, it kind of flows a lot nicer together to where on camera it actually looks like it's two different. This just looks like it's a bright green, but it's actually kind of like a dirty wash and a black wash all throughout. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry that that's coming up or across that way. Again, you can see some more blemishes all throughout. Uh, this, you know, it's all soft. Uh, this is all hollow. Here's the bottom of it. And looking at his face, which is a very ugly face. You know, when I was a, a kid, I, I, I didn't even think about it being his nose, but I always thought that this was like one of those little mustaches, and I thought it made him look funny uh but yeah i was a kid then so uh he does have a feature where he can open his mouth you can actually do it with either hand it shows you to just be doing it with this one where you can come down and ha 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 uh tongue doesn't come out or anything that would probably be a little strange uh it'd actually be kind of cool but uh yeah that does come down it's a little feature right there this is all just soft out throughout here you can do it with this one too so uh, it just shows you on the box using this one here uh, he does rotate here, so if you wanted, I mean, that, that just looks the best, uh, but if you wanted to make him like he was, I don't know, sliming across your, uh, you know, your shelf or something like that, then you could do that. You can also see there's like some detail here to where it looks like he's drooling because such a big mouth, he has a problem with keeping things in there, or at least in the movie, but... That's not too bad. Some nice detail here on the eyes. Uh, the arm does have some articulation, so this obviously can rotate here. This elbow can move. It can rotate back and forth like so. And the hands or the wrist can go back and forth, and they can also rotate. Uh, same on the other hand as well. So there's a little look at Jabba the Hutt from the Star Wars 6 inch Black Line series. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know it's a little bit shorter review, but. We don't know what else to talk about. It's a cool figure, but it is 40 bucks, unless you can find it on sale like I did. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.